Hey gamers, welcome to Insightful Gaming. Get ready because of we about to dive into an insane warlock build that is going to make you a gaming god. Imagine this exotic turns your warlock into a gaming powerhouse. This strand warlock build is insanely strong with top level defense and damage that'll make enemies wish they never crossed you. Using our setup, you'll summon a bunch of allies called Threadlings. This build is all about summoning buffed up Threadlings that do insane amount of damage to enemies. And as these Threadlings get killing blows, they will also suspend nearby targets, making your Grandmasters a walk in the park. Stick with us because we're going deep into this build covering all the details. Before that, big shout out to our sponsor and the amazing supporters of this video. You are channel members. You keep us going and we're super grateful. If you're feeling this build, hit that like, share your thoughts, and subscribe for more gaming action. Hey, let me break this down for you real quick. You gotta try out the Verdi's Brow Exotic. It's got this wicked perk, the fourth magic. So when you take down enemies with damage that matches your subclass energy, you get this buff called Death Throws. This boosts your grenade damage and refuels your grenade energy. But wait, it gets even cooler. If you toss a grenade near your squad when you've got death throws, your grenade energy refills even faster. This can stack up to 5 times and doubles our damage with Threadlings. Speaking of Threadlings, only your grenade Threadlings are getting the buff from the exotic if they come back and stick back to you. They're no longer seen as grenades. But here's the dope part. Our Threadlings already get a 33% damage boost from Threat of Evolution, and that's across the board. Plus, we're using the Threat of Regeneration Fragment and honestly, it's a game changer. When your grenade deals damage, you get even more grenade energy. And it pairs perfectly with the threat of propagation because when you hit a target, they send out homing projectiles at nearby enemies. After using the grenade, just use your main primary exotic as a filler which also does strand damage. And if you do rapid takedowns with your primary or land a power melee hit, you activate these insane unraveling rounds for even more damage. Seriously, this setup is a blast. You need to try it out. Moving on to our main weapon, the Quicksilver Storm. This bad boy has a exotic perk where after landing a few shots, your next shot is a guided mini rocket. It's like having a rocket launcher that never runs out. In addition, this weapon will also help you spawn more Threadlings. As for our heavy weapon, choose whatever you like. But, I'm rocking the Apex Predator rocket launcher that has some cool features like reconstruction and bait and switch. Alright, let's break down our stats and rotation. Keep in mind, this is my personal setup, but always feel free to tweak it to fit your style. Kicking things off of resilience, try to max this at 100. That said, if you're around 70 or still golden, with 100 resilience, you become a tank, taking in about 30% less damage. After that, it's time to juice up that discipline. Switching gears, let's get into our damage rotation. It's simple and effective. Kick things off by throwing your grenade. When these buddies hit your enemies, it unravels them. Then, drop your healing rift. This not only heals, but also gives you three more threadlings. Make sure to use your melee when it's ready. In the gaps, unleash your primary weapon on the unraveled enemies. If done right, you'll have a swarm of threadlings on the field, clearing out all threats. Keep in mind that your fragments and armor mods will keep you buffed, help spawn orbs of power. Shifting our focus, let's dive into our abilities, aspects, and fragments. Starting off with our Super Needle Storm. With this, you will reign of lethal woven needles. Once they plant themselves, they transform into threadlings. If these little guys don't find an enemy, they chill with you. When you damage enemies with your weapons or melee, these waiting threadlings spring into action. The damage output here is off the charts. With our setup, expect to have this super ready most of the time. Now, our grenade of choice is Threadling Grenade. It's a unique projectile that morphs into threadlings during battle. For our go-to ability, we're rocking the Healing Rift. When you activate this, you get a bonus of three threadlings, a neat feature from our Weaver's Call Aspect. Melee-wise, we're swinging with Arcane Needle. One swing sends a woven needle into your enemy, applying the Unravel debuff on them. Once you activate your melee ability, you will be able to chain up to two additional targets. Diving into our aspects, first up is Weaver's Call. This bad boy releases three Threadlings and sends out any you have on standby when you cast your Rift. Then we've got Wanderer, which will help you create tangles, and with that you can suspend targets in the air. This makes Grandmasters very easy. Last but not least are Fragments. Threat of Rebirth is essential. Finishing enemies with Strand weapons might get you a Threadling. We also have Threat of Generation, dealing damage refills your grenade energy. This is crucial because more grenades equals more Threadlings. Then there's Threat of Evolution, making your Threadlings do more damage and travel further. 
Rounding off, we've got Threat of Propagation, where your powered melee final blows grant your strand weapons unraveling rounds. Unraveling rounds will increase your strand weapon damage and help you create more tangles, which can be used to suspend targets. Switching gears, let's dissect our armor mods and see how they supercharge this build. First up, the helmet. We're slotting in two ashes to assets. With these, every time you use your grenade ability, your super recharges faster. Given how frequently we're activating our grenade ability, our super is going to be up in no time. Additionally, we've got the Harmonic Siphon mod, which is perfect for spawning orbs of power. But, if you've got different weapons in play, feel free to swap out for a matching siphon. Onto the gloves. Here, we're harnessing the power of bolstering detonation. This grants us class ability energy whenever our grenade hits its mark. Plus, we're doubling down with two grenade kickstart mods. If you run out of grenade energy, this mod's got your back by refilling it. While they're both fantastic, if you're feeling experimental, you could replace one with another mod. For the chess piece, go wild with your defensive mods. But, here's a pro tip. Reserve a spot for the charged up mod. This little gem lets us carry an extra stack of armor charge, which beautifully complements the grenade kickstart mods we've already mentioned. Diving into boots, we've got recuperation to boost health with each orb of power we collect. Pair that with innervation for a nifty grenade cooldown each time you grab an orb. To wrap it up, stacks on stacks is a no-brainer, picking up an orb now gives an extra armor charge stack. Last, but certainly not least, our Warlock Bond. Here we've got Bomber Mod, speeding up our grenade cooldown when we pop our class ability. Add in Reaper Mod and post-class ability, our next big weapon hit will drop an orb of power. And to make life even easier, Powerful Attraction Mod swoops in auto-collecting orbs whenever we activate our class ability. Now, let's talk about the seasonal mods to make your build even more awesome. For the first row, just grab whatever anti-champion mods you need based on what you're facing this week. In the second row, go for Diviner's Discount. This one doesn't need much explaining, it's just a solid choice. Now for the third row, we are using the Thadtotic Tangles. Strand Weapon Final Blows have a chance to create a tangle. This is very useful for our build. In the fourth row, free mods for you. First, Elemental Fury makes champions you stun take extra damage from your abilities. Second, go with Communal Pickups. When an ally destroys or picks up your elemental orb, you gain bonus damage with weapons matching your subclass for 10 seconds. Finally, Refreshing Pickups gives you a little boost to your weakest ability. Finally, last row of time. First up, Monochromatic Maestro. Use your weapons and abilities a little extra oomph 10% more damage for 5 seconds after using them. And second, you can also use the elemental munitions for that sweet heavy ammo. Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached the grand finale of our build. I trust this video left you both enlightened and amused. If this video tickled your fancy and you crave more, don't hesitate to drop a comment, smash that like button, and hit subscribe. Until our next rendezvous. Keep hustling and may the RNG gods shower you with their blessings.